I'm going to read The Hat by Jan Brett. Winter was on the way. Lisa took out her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. Curious Edgy found it and poked his head in. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, Hedgie thought. The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What is that on your head, Hedgie? Why, it's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? And the mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea, and off she ran. Hedgie saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk, ho, 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 the gander laughed. Look at that. The hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, gander, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The gander thought for a moment, and off he ran. The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgie tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in a snowstorm. Hmm, purred the cat, and off he ran. <clears throat> the farm dog and her puppies found Hedgie in a patch of brambles. Hedgie, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked, and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgie said, and the farm dog's ears perked up. Off she ran. Oink, oink, the piglet squealed. What are you up to, Edgy? the mama pig asked. Making sure my hat doesn't fall off in an, when the icy wind blows up. I see, said mama pig, and off she ran. Edgy, what is that ridiculous thing you've got on your head? The pony snorted at Edgy. That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgie shouted. The pony looked startled. Hedgie was usually so friendly, and off he ran. Hedgie just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him, and with this thing on his head, he couldn't even fit in his den. He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog, she called. Oh no, Hedgie thought, even the girl is laughing at me. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgie's head. You ridiculous little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Hedgie headed for his den, and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. That's when she saw all of her missing woolens. The animals had taken them, and each one was thinking, Now I'm wearing a magnificent hat. Lisa was still chasing them when Hedgie reached his den. How ridiculous they look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes?